Introduction The blacksmith burns coal to get hot iron which can be beaten to desired shape. A variety of fuels is used in daily life such as coal, petrol, charcoal, LPG, etc. Do you know which chemical process is taking place during the burning of these fuels? It is combustion. In this lesson, you will learn about combustion of fuels. List types of combustion. Rohan is performing a simple activity. He is burning a magnesium wire on a flame. Notice carefully. Heat and light is also produced along with magnesium oxide. Now look at the burning of coal. This burns in air producing carbon dioxide, heat and light. In both the example, the substances are reacting with the oxygen of the air to produce heat and light. This process is called combustion. There are two types of substances. Some substances catch fire and burns while the other group does not catch fire. As you can see, the boy is bringing a lighted matchstick close to the paper and glass. Paper catches fire, and so it is called combustible substance. The glass does not burn, and such substances which cannot burn in air or oxygen are incombustible substances. Let us discuss the conditions necessary for burning. Light a candle and cover it with glass tumbler. You will see that candle stops burning after a while. This implies that candle burns freely in the presence of air. Therefore, air is necessary for combustion. We just saw that a paper burns when lighted with a matchstick. Now bring the matchstick close to the piece of wood. The piece of wood does not catch fire. One lighted matchstick is not able to burn the piece of wood but a piece of paper burnt quickly. This is because a piece of wood has not reached its ignition temperature. Ignition temperature is the lowest temperature at which the substance catches fire. Your mother would have told to keep burning matchstick or a lighter away from LPG gas stove in the kitchen. This is because LPG catches fire very easily. Similarly, you must have seen no smoking sign board at the petrol pumps. It is because petrol also catches fire very easily and therefore it is advisable not to smoke at the petrol pumps. Substances like LPG and petrol are inflammable because they have low ignition temperature due to which they readily catch fire. Now we will see how the fire can be put off. Fire needs oxygen, heat and fuel to exist. However, it can be extinguished by removing any one of them. You must have seen fireman throwing water on the fire and the fire gets extinguished. Water brings the temperature of the combustible material below its ignition temperature and cuts off the supply of air. But water is not a good extinguisher for electrical or oil fires. For electrical and oil fires, it is best to use carbon dioxide as an extinguisher. Carbon dioxide being heavier than oxygen covers the fire like a blanket due to which contact between the fuel and oxygen gets cut off. Let us now look at types of combustion. You can see a lady igniting LPG in a kitchen to make food. LPG burns quickly producing a lot of heat. This type of combustion is called rapid combustion. When white phosphorus is left in the open for some time, it catches fire. This type of combustion is called spontaneous combustion. Other example of spontaneous combustion is the forest fire and fires in coal mines. You must have used fireworks during festival days. What happens when the cracker burns? The burning of a cracker produces a large amount of heat, light and sound. This type of combustion is called explosion. It is summer vacations. Friends have gathered at Mohit's place to play a game of carom. During the game, the electricity went out. Mohit went 
and brought a burning candle to finish off the game. Everyone had seen a burning candle, but today seeing the dancing flame was interesting. The flame is an interesting topic to discuss. In this lesson, we discuss about the flame and fuels. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Explain the structure of a flame Define fuel and fuel efficiency Explain the harmful effects of burning fuel When we look at a flame of kerosene lamp, it is yellow in color, but the flame of a kitchen stove is blue. It is interesting to know that the color of a flame depends on the oxygen supply. If the oxygen supply is less, flame will appear yellow due to incomplete combustion of fuel. And if it is more, the flame will appear blue due to complete combustion of fuel. Do you know how these flames are obtained? When we burn the candle with a matchstick, the heat of the matchstick melts and vaporizes wax, which rises through the wick and forms flame. A candle flame can be divided into three regions. Inner zone, middle zone and outer zone. Let us watch Rohan performing an activity. He is introducing a glass plate into the luminous zone of the candle flame with the help of pair of tongs. The glass forms circular blackish spots indicating the presence of unburnt carbon particles present in the luminous zone of the flame. Now observe another activity. Rohan is holding a thin long copper wire inside the flame with the help of pair of tongs. The portion of the copper wire just outside the flame is getting red hot. This indicates that the non-luminous zone of the flame is the hottest part of the flame. Let's check what you have learned. This is a candle flame. You have to drag and drop the correct zone in the respective box. Fuels are important source of energy. We use petrol or diesel for driving car, LPG for cooking food, crude oil for flying an airplane, and wood to provide warm. All these are fuels. All fuels do not burn efficiently. Fuel efficiency is determined by its calorific value. The amount of heat energy produced on complete combustion of 1 kg of a fuel is called its calorific value and it is expressed in a unit called kilojoule per kg. Calorific value of LPG is more than wood or coal. That is why LPG is more efficient fuel than wood or coal. Fuels are important, but increased fuel consumption has harmful effects on the environment. The smoke emitted by vehicles and industries contains unburnt carbon particles which causes air pollution. It is advised never to sleep in a closed room with burning coal fire in it as the combustion of coal will be incomplete due to less oxygen. The resulting poisonous carbon monoxide gas will be released which can kill persons sleeping in that room. You must be aware of global warming. It is caused majorly due to carbon dioxide. The increasing concentration of carbon dioxide is due to combustion of fuels. Global warming leads to increased Earth's temperature. This will result in melting of polar glaciers, raising the sea level. It will result in flooding of the low-lying areas of the world. Another harmful effect of air pollution is acid rain. Rainwater that contains oxides of sulfur and nitrogen released from the industries and petrol engines in dissolved state, it may cause huge damage to skin, soil, standing crops and buildings. There are ways we can reduce negative impact on the environment by choosing the right fuel. A great example of this is cars, buses and auto rickshaws that run on compressed natural gas or CNG instead of petrol. CNG is a much cleaner and cheaper fuel. Summary 
Let us summarize what we have learned. There are three different zones of a flame, dark zone, luminous zone, and non-luminous zone. Incomplete combustion of a fuel gives poisonous carbon monoxide gas. Increase in the concentration of carbon dioxide in air results in the rise of Earth's temperature. Acid rain contains oxides of sulfur and nitrogen in dissolved state.